And here's a look at our esteemed panel of judges. An illustrious group of champions, David Jenkins, Iazanova, Bernard Ford, Carol Heiss, Norman Fuller, Maria Jelinek, and Hayes Jenkins. And we're going to get right to it now. The British ice dancing team of Jane Torval and Christopher Dean. And they really rocked this place a year ago. Perfect scores. They're our defending champions. And this number is a bit of a departure for them. It is a comedy routine. And Joe, it'll be interesting to see how the judges perceive this. It certainly will be. You know, Torval and Dean have always been pace setters and rule changers in this sport. But it's very curious that they should choose a comedy number for the technical part of the competition. Also, you might want to keep an eye on their facial expressions. They have been working with a stage director as well as a choreographer and chosen this routine. theatrical number, of course, there is a lot of difficulty in some of these moves they're doing. Carvel and Dean really redefined the sport of ice dancing in their performances in Sarajevo, as well as what they did here a year ago. You know, a move like this is very bold, and it's a real gamble as far as tradition goes. But Torvald and Dean are not followers, and they approach everything wholeheartedly. They're going all out for the humor here, and the audience is loving it. <laughs> the crowd here in Landover is really getting into this number. Torval and Dean have received only perfect marks from every judge in every competition. So this will be interesting to see how these judges score this non-technical number in this technical part of the competition. Something a little different from Jane Torval and Christopher Dean, and as usual, they go off the ice in character. The crowd here at the Capitol Center loves it. Let's get their marks. Ten. 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 Nine point nine. Ten. That 9.9 .9 won't count because they throw out the high and the low, so it's a perfect score of 50 for 